So when you go out camping, there's a few things that you want and you need. One is going to be right here. It's from our good friends at Red Camp. Well, I've bought it with my own money, so I don't know why I'm plugging them, but it's meant to be a really good enclosure for your fire. I'm like, we're going to go live. We're going to be creating a fire today. Firstly, I like the fact that, oh, wait a minute. It comes in its own little stove. It's a 10 piece one. So it's got 10 slots. So let's see, how do we, how do we put, how are we doing so far? Now we're going to, oh, look at that. That's like Johnny Five's alive. Okay, that's quite bigger than I thought it would be. Look, that's tall. Look at that. You can use it like as a reflector, survival reflector. So you've got, when they say 10, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10 being the last one here. So that's why they call it a 10 one, because there's 10 sections. It's quite well built actually. Okay, so why would you want this? Let me show you why. Oh, it's got a little system to lock it up to, if you want to make a complete circle. That's quite good. So you can actually do like a, a fully enclosed circle and then just lock it into place. Oh. Okay, so far I'm liking that, but we need to test it. So how shall we test it? Well, first thing you want to notice, for camping you want things to go and fold down small. That is very thin and small. You've got your little clips here which you can make into a circle. Let me add that back in here just so you can see that when you close it up, it can be closed up. I will be making a, a fire and I will use it as a thing. The main thing you want to do here is have this as a reflector. So firstly, when you have a canister and you're burning, let me show you what I mean. So here we go, we've got a set here. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna show you what I mean. So let's get this out of its little packaging. Let me set it up and I'll come back to you right about now. So here we got our little camping kettle. It's got a nice little loop to hold it with. And if you're camping, you can use a utensil if it gets hot just to give you like a bit of extra reach so here let's put some we're gonna, we're gonna make a tea let's go here so nice and easy enter i won't put too much in put only as much as you need because if you're heating more water than you need then what will happen is you're wasting energy because you need more heat to heat up the water in the first place so let's do that okay that just sits on there's no screwing mechanism Handle goes up. Now here is our little camping stove. So we're gonna go open some gas. There. Hey, look at that beauty there, mate. Turn it down a tinsy bit. Put our kettle on top. Just like that. So right now we are boiling. How this works is if you're outdoors, wind will be coming past just the flame there. You can see just underneath there the flame. Make sure it's sturdy behind the center. Yeah, so wind will be coming past, which first is cooling down the kettle that we're boiling water in, and it's taking that heat away. So it's not gonna be as efficient as it can be. That's where this beauty comes in. You basically put it around, just like this. What that does is it creates a enclosure. So your wind will deflect away. It will bounce back the heat from the kettle and the system being boiling the water and it'll boil it quicker so it's a double fold system that you've got going on here so we're going to leave that for a bit let it boil the water and then we're going to come back and make our cup of tea you can hear it firing away so what you can also do is with the deflector if you have a, a strong wind from one side you can just position it on the left or right side right now i can see my water starting to steam here from my boiling kettle and the handle seems still cool so i can still hold it which is a good thing for the kettle and let's let that bring itself up to a boil and we'll see how good this kettle is. Here I look at it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nearly boiling. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, you can hear it. Turn the gas down a bit. Oh, there we go. You can hear the different difference in noise. So that's definitely coming up to a boil now. That little beauty. Yeah, and then we've got our cup of tea here. Well, cup of tea as in we've got a tea bag with sugar and milk. So we're ready for... Oh, here we go. Can you see it now? That was quite quick actually. What, two, three minutes maybe? You can see the kettle's doing a nice little, little job there. The only thing I'm thinking right now is if it gets hot, have I got somewhere to put it down so I don't melt my desk? <laughs> oh, there we go. So the kettle's fully up to a boil. Let's turn the heat off. There. So now how good? How good was that? Well, that kind of helped us out a lot really because if we were outdoors, then it will stop any wind coming through. So if you're thinking about it and you're camping, especially if you're outdoors in a windy location, then this is going to be a great addition to your kit. So make sure you pick yourself up one of these reflectors. You can get smaller ones. This is a 10 one, so you know it's quite... It's got like a really long... You can get 8 piece, which is slightly smaller. So before my uh, tea cools down, I'm going to have a cup of tea. 